Rav Yisrael Me'olau told a story about a Talmud whose Rebbe and the Rebbe's entire family were murdered in the Holocaust. After the war, the Talmud found out that one of the Rebbe's daughters had actually survived, but she turned her back completely on Yiddishkeit, so much so that she'd enrolled her son in a Catholic school. The Talmud tried to contact the Rebbe's daughter. She refused to have anything to do with him. She wouldn't speak to him on the phone, nothing. So he flew down to Belsen where she lived. He knocked on the door repeatedly, but she wouldn't open the door. He kept on knocking. Finally, she opened the door and said, go away. I know why you came. I don't want anything to do with you people. I have a new life. I'm not interested. Go away. The Talmud said, please, just give me some water. I've come so far. She gave him a glass of water and he started to make a brocha out loud. Boruch ato. She screamed. You know what they did to him? You know what they did to your Rebbe? He was wearing his talisman tefillin and they pulled the tefillin off his head and they used them to whip him. They smashed his skull with his tefillin. He was rolling on the floor in his blood. That was the last time I saw your Rebbe, my father. I don't want anything to do with you people. Go away. Okay, I'll leave, he said. But I have one question for you. Who wins? If you put tefillin on your son, then you won. If you don't put tefillin on your son and you raise him as a non-Jew, then Hitler won. So many times the Yetzirah tricks us. He fools us. He makes us look at something inappropriate and we think to ourselves, that's it. We lost. No, no, no. Round one is the Yetzirah tricking us. Now we have to ask ourselves, who wins? If we look again, then the Eta Horror won. But if we control ourselves, then we won. The first time is the trick. The second time is the battle.